Welcome back to the adventures of Galadorandon, the new Storm King of the Stormlands. So, one thing I wanted to address very briefly is that there seems to be a little bit of confusion uh, amongst some people I've talked to with regards to the sort of side family that we've got going on right now. Uh, so, so Rainus Valan, the, uh, uh, the the lady of House Valan here. Why don't we... Uh, who are you married to? Just some randomer? I must have got to restrict to marriage or something. She is our granddaughter. She's a saucy Valerian. She's Valerian. And people are saying, well, you've got high Valerian in your family. Why not give her the dragon egg? Which is fine. But there seems to be confusion along whether or not we can play as them. We are never, ever going to be able to play as a character who is Valerian in this playthrough. It's actually impossible to flip over to um, high Valerian culture. She isn't high Valerian either, which I've just noticed. So the comments were completely wrong. Um, but... We were never going to be able to play as uh, A because obviously it's it's matrilineal, you know, it's an entirely separate house, blah, 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 blah. But we can't flip over to High Valerian culture. It, it's it just a, it's, it's an, it's a, a restriction added by the game that prevents you from playing as them because they're meant to be wiped out at this stage, right? We can give her the Dragon Egg. We can, oh, we can't give her the Dragon Egg. Why? Um, oh, we have a regent whose opinion is greater than or equal to zero. Sure, whatever, because we are, I assume off going to get another maester's chain who knows anyway what's the point we, we can sure make this family powerful and uh, marry her off matrilineally instead which is fine i'm happy to do that i kind of like doing things like that just having another sort of side project going on like we did with the last series so why not let's do that uh let's kill off and marry her or kill him off and marry her off matrilineally um we could what we'd have to do though is to ensure it's going to be fairly difficult in terms of how we're going to meta it now, we'd have to ensure that, A, she's always married to a Durandan or has an alliance or a non-aggression pact with a Durandan, or with, with whoever we're playing as, because having a dragon turn up on our doorstep with someone who has potentially claims on our land and somebody who uh, we are most likely going to have as a landed vassal under us that we might end up pissing off, who's an entirely separate religion and culture, might not be a good idea for hopefully obvious reasons, because dragons tend to be fairly large and fairly fiery. Now, Storm's End is good at defending against everything but a dragon, as we've seen. So we have to be very careful in that regard. Who is she married to? Uh, it was like my uh, my priest. Okay, so we could actually just build a spy network in our capital and be fine. So let's bring you home. Put you in the Stormlands. Let's kill this guy off then. I'm happy to do that. And then we'll uh, marry her off to someone else. Uh, what are we going to do? Why don't we build a war chest or something? We're never going to be able to become Emperor short of getting the Iron Throne. And I don't think we're going to be able to get the Iron Throne anytime soon. Seeing as we've got 6,400 men because all of our vassals hate us. Speaking of which, that's another thing we've got to work on is, is proselytization. Replacing uh, traitorous vassals with less traitorous vassals. Which is something we're going to do when we become the High Lord of Summerfield. Now there is something else we could do. We could colonize Summerhall. Now, Summerhall was the old sort of Targaryen uh, summer home, their sort of second house south of King's Landing that burnt down during... It was a huge blaze on the night that I think it was uh, Rhaegar, Daenerys' brother, was... On, on the night he was born, Summerhall burnt down. So, that's a ruin, but there is treasures in there to be found. Let's put it that way. There are things that we can uncover if we rebuild the ruin and turn it back into a colonizable area. We can colonize it because we are the digital lord of the Stormlands. Now, it's part of the Crownlands, but we've just got to have a border on it. Which we do, as, the, as obviously the High Lord here. We could grab this. Uh, it costs us a thousand gold. It's also part of the Duchy of Summerfield as well. You know what we could do? We could make two Stormlanded Dukes. If we revoke any title... Oh, you know what? We have had low keep. What's the other one we have the opportunity to make? Um, the Dornish Marches. We could put two High Lord Storm God characters because of the land that we've revoked in our realm. That would be a very, very big play. Whether or not they'll survive for long, because of obviously rebellions, being hated because of different religions, that type of thing, that remains to be seen. But we'll we'll try and empower the religion a little bit this time around. Let's proselytize. Let's get to work a little bit in regards to that. Jerry Ann, before you die, you might as well do something useful here. So let's get you proselytizing and sort of see what we can do with that. And then we'll marry her off, and then I'll give her the dragon egg. If you guys want to see that cadet dynasty, from what I can tell, everybody wants to see that cadet dynasty flourish. Well, again, we'll never be able to play them, but we might as well go for it. Apparently, we're already going to kill him. That's pretty nuts. Going to poison his wine. Peculiar tradition, I'll support it. We're going to get some harvest festivals. Is that worth it? We haven't got any gold anyway. We're going to say no for a while. He's dead. All right, there we go. Uh, now what we want to do is want to go to Rainus Valani. Valan? Valane? Um, uh, let's arrange a marriage. We can arrange a marriage between her and Doran, our grandson. So that's her cousin. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's not terrible, but it's not ideal. What line... Uh, what, what, what's... 
number is Durin in line to the throne. He's sixth in line to the throne. So that's probably not much of a threat if we marry them off matrilineally. I don't think they'll get any claims on it anyway. We get the bloodlines, though, which would be kind of cool, because obviously it's patrilineally inherited bloodlines. So House Valane will have that blood of the Storm God, and they'll also have everything else as well. Um, let's marry her off to Durin, then. Oh, he's ugly. I kind of feel a bit cruel. Let's marry her off to Mist. What, what line was Mist? Uh, he's second in line to the throne. Okay, then. Let's not marry him off to Mist. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for Durin then. Sure, why the hell not? There we go. Alright, so that solved that problem that you guys uh, were not too pleased about. Can we not throw him a wedding feast? Oh, we don't have any money. Um, oh God, they also want more gold from me. <gasps> uh, Durin's opinion of Lord Gallad changes because I can't afford... Like, I've given you a Valyrian wife. Is that not enough? She's actually not a terrible character. She's not great, but she's not terrible. I was thinking of inviting Lord Dale to an activity we can do together that will help us grow closer. This is just one of our vassals we're trying to endear ourselves to. Uh, let's make it in private for some deep discussions. Why not? Um, and we've got ourselves yet another link. I don't think by the time we get a specialization, it's going to be too late to do anything with, isn't it? Um, what have we got? What, what's the, we're closest to getting the red gold link. Um, we've got two lead links as well. So either if we get the choice of either law or building, we need to go for either. Uh, both of those will allow us to pick a specialization. Right now, like I said, I've never played in the Mace for Society. I've never played as part of the Citadel. I don't know what the specializations do. I assume it's just a standard sort of strategist, architect, etc., etc. But we do want to just make sure. We want to get a good idea around this. Because someone gave me a good idea for a future playthrough. Uh, emphasis on future. It's not, probably not going to come out immediately after the series. But something to uh, bear in mind. Right, we want to send for... We want to employ a new courtier. We can't afford it. <laughs> we haven't got any money. Um, I need more time to raise funds. Yes, I absolutely do. Let's set up then. So we are collecting taxes. Can't have a priest. Because, uh, again, we can't afford it. Unless we... Um, Maybe we can invite someone to court. There might be some members of our religion kicking around. There is a couple. Uh, Allard is already here. I think they have to specifically be a priest character, though. Um, oh, there are people who aren't... Interesting. So there are people of our religion who aren't in our court. What if you say join court? Yes. None? What if you say join court? Any. Um, can we say not in my court? How do we do that? Uh, I don't think we can, can we? So there's Jared who is apparently a warrior. There's Tristan, who is apparently also a warrior and is dying. Okay, never mind then. Some hours passed and the discussion continues because of an impasse about the nature of the universe. I will be assertive and explain why they were wrong. Let's hold back and disprove their arguments instead. Let the other side have the first word. So it's us versus him in a sort of debate here. He's got decent injury. We've got good diplomacy though. And we're gregarious. So I feel like we're going to be fine here. I think we might just be able to convince him around. This may be, I, this may be a bad thing. It sounds like a bad thing. I learned a lot from this discussion. How much opinion do we get with him is the important thing. That's all I care about. Nothing, huh? Too bad he does not enjoy it. He didn't find it very fun. Well, we didn't lose opinion, and that's the important thing, I'd say. Uh, there is a rumor that Storm's End, that one of the local nobles might be corrupt, handled wisely. How do you know, Lord Ronit the Lude? He's a terrible spy master. I've got a blind man as my spy master. I suppose he only listens to whispers in that case. Um, seems like a bad spy to have. Use it as you see, I mean, he's ne not necessarily a spy himself, obviously. He's just the master of the spies. Let's get out of debt, because that's also going to be making people dislike us quite a huge amount as well. So, like I said, what we're going to do is we're going to wait for succession before we give the, um, oh no, before we give these titles out and set up these duchies, because that way it means that our son's going to get two vassals that like him a lot, and it's going to deal with some other ones as well, and he's getting rid of titles, so our vassals will like him a little bit more. Please be with you. I've been appointed as your regent, because we are going off to, you get nothing from me, we're going off to study, so let's see what we can get here. Um... We can't... None of these are going to give us a third link, are they? Let's go for metallurgy. Why the hell not? If you're most illuminating. What I'd like to do is flip over to business focus. Also, if we can get out of debt before this guy dies, I think that would be a huge, huge bonus. So let's flip over to that one. Council, we still need to get a priest for. I like your flag. That's not scary at all. We are dead. Okay. Wow, look at that. Lord Paramount Gallard has taken his last breath at the age of 68. He died of depression, a man famed throughout the world. He was a master of a dragon riding into battle. He will be missed now that he is with the Storm God. Goodbye, Gallard the Kraken Slayer. You did a hell of a lot. That's insane. Oh, and of course, our guy, because he was a lord, to start with gold. Hey, that's pretty great. Okay, so killed a Kraken, tamed a dragon, got Valyrian Steel Sword. This guy's nuts. He was, he was incredibly good, and of course, we've now inherited his dragon egg. As per law and custom, 203 God of your father's wealth has been divided among three of your kinsmen as their inheritance. Your half-sister Fog is one of the beneficiaries. Okay, he had wealth. Your father, Lord Paramount Gallard, ran and has died. Now it forces you to decide to... Of course, we're going to have a funeral, obviously. 
we will invite the Durandan family so that it's not super expensive because we're only just out of debt. And they're the only people who would appreciate it anyway. Right, okay then. So, with the new High Lord of the Stormlands, we are not a bad character. All things considered, gregarious, diligent, rare artifact, artifact, um, poor fighter, fashionable, quick, greedy, cynical. What do we want to go for? I think we want to go for rulership focus to hold things together. Now, we can make a duchy level turret, which is obviously incredible. Um, did we get our old castle as well? We kept Black Bog. No, wait, what was our old castle called? Um, I don't remember. It was the castle of Black Bog, right? Yeah, it was, because it was in Brainwood. I remember. Yeah, that's very cool. Okay, so we've, we've, we've managed to grab a castle out of that as well. So now we've got a decent amount of castles. It's not a huge amount of tax, but it's better than nothing, huh? And we are up to 5.24 monthly income. We're spending some on, obviously, liege taxes. The invitations are here, and it's sent to the lords and ladies of the round to come to the funeral. It's time to prepare the feast and the funeral itself, lavishly on food, naturally. Let's go for... Uh, it doesn't really matter with you too much. Now, what are we doing in terms of a sun? Lord Mist is terrible. I'm offended that this boy is the way he is. Um, what are we educated in? Let's try and give him a diplomatic education. My fault there for not paying too much attention to that. I was too concerned with my maester links and whatnot. He could be good, though. That's the worst part. Brave, gregarious, just, greedy. Dull is the only thing holding him back here, and that is holding him back, obviously, a huge amount. Um, so much we can do. Shit. I don't want to make him the heir apparent to the Stormlands, because he is garbage. What about Boris? <laughs> Boris of the Stormlands. Um, thrift. Let's go for thrift on Boris. Let's also assign him a guardian. Oh, we're already his guardian. Our guardian's both children. Um, we need to deal with this. This is horrible. So we're going to divorce our wife first and foremost. Get out of here. We're going to find a new wife who's also a genius, ideally, and have a load of genius kids. That's what I'm banking on right now. That's what we need, and that's what I'm praying for. It's good to my attention that the Stormlands have been designated regent. Uh, so this guy wants to become designated regent. I'm going to say no, because he's just a random dude, and we've probably got a lot of things to manage as we start off here. Actually, our vassals don't hate us too much, which I'm really glad to see. Justicia, with 22 justiciary. That seems very good. We need a court position. I mean, the court priest. We need that already, though. Um, right, so we'll deal with that in a minute. Justicia, justiciate. Uh, let's send some money to it. Or maybe sack him and replace him with a better Lord Treasurer. There's no one really better. Uh, this guy's okay, but he hates us a huge amount. Why don't we start dishing out these titles, then, like I said. So, first things first. Let's go for the Dornish Marches. Cost us zero gold. Oh! I honestly didn't realize that. I thought that was going to be the thing to hold us off. Right, so let's employ a new courtier. Let's go for a Lord Treasurer. Doran, you are garbage. <sighs> Doran. <laughs> he is so bad. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to search realm for my religion, my culture. Reset all. Let's go my religion, my culture. Men who are, doesn't really matter anything else, who are not rulers. So we're going to find whoever has the highest stewardship, who's preferably not related to us. We could go for our relatives, obviously, but it would be a little odd. Um, shit, really? Doran is one of the better ones there. He's not bad. I want to make sure we've got a good duke under us. Either high marshal, high diplomacy, or high stewardship for, obviously, troop count, keeping the round together, and taxes, respectively. Any of those would be nice. I don't want to land a family member. That's going to cause too much infighting between other family members, getting claims on one another. I think that would be a bad idea, plus them obviously rising up against us. Ah, oh, Doran has 10 stewardship. Are we going to get much better than that? He's arbitrary and cruel. The round will crumble if we give it to this dude. We've got to wait. In the Summer Islands, uh, do I have to censor that? Women dance in alluring and exotic manner. No, she's closed. It's fine. And a troop of such dancers passing through Storm's End. Sure. No feast would be complete without them. Just what I was thinking. Strippers. Under my... Could you imagine having strippers at your funeral? <laughs> Holy shit. Under my guard, it's my young half-sister. Fog is mastering the art of swordsmanship. Great. Um, Boris. I mean... It's going to put us into debt, but what fucking choice do we have here? They're all garbage. Um, no, he's going to come out. Even that's just going to take... I can't... No. I'm sorry, Boris. That No, look. We need to find a new wife. We need a new wife right now. Um, let's go for Genius. We don't, why don't we turn it into a uh, funeral funeral wedding? Beth, Spymaster of Torrent Square is good, but she's a Spymaster. Masande of Narth. Wow, okay. That's actually Masande, though. Um... We're looking for women. Women. Preferably not married. Um, preferably not a ruler either. Not that it matters too much. Diplo range, preferably. Right, okay. So let's all by age. And let's see who we can find here. Ooh, Danella Magia would do. Our father's a lord. So I don't think we can actually invite to court. Would, she, would he accept a marriage? Uh, no. Not consider offer from infidels. Get used to that. Um, what else have we got here? My Lara? She's just a randomer? 
She is a randomer. She could be good. She's a random northern lady. Um, will she accept the marriage? No. I think we can intermarry with Faith of the Seven. So why don't we try someone like her, Slain Castle? I think I think we are allowed to uh, marry into that. So they're going to say no because we are still an infidel. Okay. Um, okay, well, let's just pick and choose then. She would be great. She's a nobody as well. The reason I say she's great is because she's lustful, genius, grey eminence. Sure, you'll do. Um, she's cohoric. Okay. Um, we've got someone who's brawny, genius. I mean, I'm looking for lustful primarily, so you'll do. Uh, Arena, would you say that is? I have no idea. Right, uh, let's buy a favor and write to court. How much do you want? 50 gold. 50 frigging gold. Probably could have just bought a favor from her anyway. I should have checked that first. Um, do I want to piss off my vassals? So, so Gallad is going to be annoyed. But Lord Ronnet is going to be happy. And of course, we're going to defend Lord Ronnet. That was well spoken. Thank you. And please dig in my lords. Right. I find in favor of Lord Argalak. Yes. I have, every time we get a lord, we are going to find in favor of them. The funeral. And so it is done. Lord Paramount Galadrana died of depression on the 17th of 3rd moon at age 68. He was a man who was known to have dark moods. Okay. Uh, Galad wielded a Valyrian steel blade. Greatly aiding his ability to protect himself. A famously was known to be a dragon rider. Cool. Um, how about some money, though? Anybody want to give me some money for the sort of funeral funds? Take out a loan? Please, I need to buy a wife. Where is she? Let's just make sure she's marked special interest as well, because I don't want to lose her at this stage. Right, we've only got to get a little bit more gold. There we go. That should be enough, right? Buy favor. Yes, thank you very much. She's going to say, of course. And then we're going to invite her to court. And she doesn't have a choice, because we have a favor. Okay, so we've got a lustful genius wife. That seems like a pretty good first step in uh, fixing the round. He's only 35, so chances are we're going to be playing as this dude for what? 20 years? Assuming we get no health malices. I mean, they do have that bonus to health from their... I was going to say their gold blood, but they actually don't, do they? Did, was he, did he just genuinely live to the age of 68? Wow, that's very impressive. Okay, fair enough. Um, that's fine. Nothing to worry about then. Okay, so fingers crossed we get a better son, either quick or genius. Obviously, we've got a chance at either, given that one parent is quick, one parent is genius. Lord Paramount Renly of Cape Wrath used a favor on Lord Miles of Gallimond to force him to join all factions. Cool. We're going to be dealing with factions and things like that in a second. Now, what we want to do is set, employ a courtier as special interest. We need 15 gold, and we can only employ one every, like, four months or something like that. I forget what it actually is. Um, because, again, we want to give away these titles and guarantee that we've got some strong, powerful vassals under us. Although, it's going to involve us giving away some of our domain. Oh, God. Maybe it's not time for this, huh? Oh, shit. Heartfire managed to break free of his chains and set much of the hinterlands of the Stormends on fire. Even though you could catch him before more harm was done, the small folk was upset. Perhaps it's time that I try and tame him. The land is consumed by Dragonfire and Lord Paramount Monsoon Dragon is responsible for it. I didn't have a choice in that one. Uh, we can click the Tame Dragon button. Do we just roll the fucking dice? Oh, I failed. Oh, God. Wounded. Fine. Oh, it's built Alarian Storm's End. Okay, so normally they fly away to the nearest dragon. We got very lucky in that it's sticking around in Storm's End. Face the dragon again. <laughs> I feel like we're going to get wiped out here, huh? Um, do it. Let's just keep trying. What happens if we die? We play as Mist. <laughs> ah, easy peasy. Nothing to worry about, huh? It's just a dragon. I don't see what the big deal is. How the hell? When we're playing as Jon Snow, the guy with, spoilers, Valyrian blood, the guy with, uh, you, you know, we were playing as High Valyrian characters as well in that last series. We were playing as literal High Valyrian culture, High Valyrian religion very briefly, trying to tame dragons over and over. We failed, we die, we get maimed, we get wounded, whatever, we get burnt. This guy takes a single wound and then tames the goddamn biggest dragon I think I've ever seen in the Game of Thrones mod. 176 years of age, 47 martial. Okay, like I said, I wasn't going to rely on the dragon, but pff, why not? It's there. It stops the peasants being upset, even if we don't use the damn thing. And it makes us a little more threatening as well, so it might help us keep the round together. Today, my brother Lord Splash asked me for a fight of his own to govern. He would like the castle of Hadlow Keep. Um. Shit. <laughs> um. It is customary to bestow castles on your kinsmen. If we refuse his request, he may inform the round that you will be seen as a tyrant. Hadlow Keep. Shit, are we going to have to start landing our brothers? It might be okay. It might be okay. Why do you not like us? Pretender and climate to the kingdom of the Stormlands. This is why I don't want to... I promise to arrange it. We could give him Hadlow Keep. No, 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 we can't give him Hadlow Keep. Oh, shit. We need to give away these titles quickly before everybody else starts making us out to be some sort of horrible tyrant. Right, let's go and employ a uh, Lord Treasurer, please. He's good. I'll take it. Brilliant steward, administer, uh, administrator, jealous, and charitable. Nice. Okay, Grand Landed title. We're going to give him the Duchy of the Dornish Marches. 
It's going to piss off our brother, but what's he going to do, realistically? We're giving the titles away. That's not that's not tyranny. He's going to be annoyed that we didn't give it to him, but we're not hoarding titles, which is the thing that makes us a tyrant. Make sure he's married. We need to keep this family alive. Uh, range marriage between him and... Marry him to uh, my half-sister, Drizzle. Boom. You're welcome. That's, a, uh, that's both gaining peace with these vassals and ensuring that they're going to live longer. Plus, she's not a terrible character. Obviously, she's got quit there. You're welcome. Right, okay, so... We also need to give away our other Duchy level title, which is the High Lordship of Summerfield. So let's quickly uh, create that title. We've got to give away Hadlow Keep to anybody as soon as possible. When can we do that again? Um, it's going to be another 11th moon. It's going to be May next. So we've got to wait six months. Man, it's every six months. That's quite expensive. Send from Maester from the Citadel. We might as well see as we've got the gold for it. It's just a waste not having one around, you know? All right. And let's get you. Um, we've got a very powerful vassal who likes us a lot now, which is obviously incredible. Let's put you on board. Um, let's go for Oversee the Realm. Let's try and sway him. All of our vassals like us a pretty decent amount. I'm actually fairly impressed with the amount that the Realm is going to stay together then at this stage. Master Arms Lord Miles of Gelman is training troops. That's good to see. Or well, Treasurer is collecting tax. I just want to make sure everything's going to stay together. Our, justice, our, our, our Justicia is going to be the one that's really keeping it down here. 40% chance, well, 35, 36% chance yearly there of improving relations with our Lord's good. That's We'll just leave him to do that because that's obviously the most important thing. How, uh, how are we going to get another priest? I can't employ a priest while we're waiting to employ other lords to give titles to. This sucks. Anyway, the reason I'm giving away uh, it to stewards, by the way, is obviously they get more taxes. That means more taxes for us as well. It might actually give us a decent amount of monthly balance. So we could build a castle town or something like that to help bolster up our taxes. Let's give away some honorary titles. Uh, Lord Michael the Gelty. <laughs> the Gouty. You get... Uh, there. Oh, he's going to be dead soon anyway. You get to die, but, you know, we'll give him that one. Uh, what do we want to give him, like, Master of Horse? There you go. How are you looking? Seems a little bit rude to give a guy who is crippled the Master of the Horse title. I mean, that just seems... It just seems incredibly backhanded. Right, we've got Splash. You can... You don't get a title, but you do get to be my bodyguard, which seems like a horrible idea in hindsight. Cupbearer is an opinion plus five, so we'll just give that to whoever dislikes it most. You're a High Lord, so you definitely need that. Um, in fact, you're a High Lord, so we should be swaying you instead, I think. Wow. I'm very surprised that things are hopefully staying together. What are we looking at in terms of factions? Um... Lord Splash for the Stormlands. Are you joking? <sighs> give him a shitty book. Plot power increase plus 2.5%. Just give him a shitty book. We don't want that book. What a splendid object. You're welcome. Now he's got two opinion. He might abandon that plot. He's still not going to abandon it. But the longer we rule, obviously, the more they'll like us. And I think that was definitely worthwhile. Because I'm going to be honest. 2.5% plot power. Not really going to change things here. King Sandor. Sandor Ferrin. And what was he again? He's like Robert Rathian's grandson. King Herrick. King Herrick's son, Herrick, so he's Robert Baratheon's great-grandson via Marcella Baratheon of all people, so not really Robert Baratheon's grandson, sorry, spoilers for episode uh, 6 of season 1 there, apologies. Right, so what else do we want to do? Knight of Pisa, yeah, I knew he would be terrible, which is immediately why we remarried. Do we want to join the Citadel again? We would need to do the scholarship focus, I'm not a big fan of that, we could join the Cop Star of Wisdom. Cop Star of Wisdom, a secret society devoted to studying dark sorcery and the veneration of the Black Stone. Said to have fallen from the sky. So the Blackstone is the thing that's really linked to all of our campaigns together in the Game of Thrones mod. So there are in, in the Game of Thrones sort of expanded lore, there are three different types of Blackstone. There's like an oily Blackstone, a fused Blackstone, which comes from Valyria. The oily Blackstone is associated with sort of the the sea gods. So Cthulhu, or, or, you know, the gods of the island of Lang and things like that. And there's another one as well, the Blackstone Sea on, on the Iron Islands, which of course we played in as well. So the Blackstone is very much the thing linking all of our campaigns together. I think it'd be cool to... Once again, get involved with something like that. And of course, as worshipping the Storm God, there's a theory that the Storm God is basically just like... Because George R. R. Martin is really heavily into his HP Lovecraft. Like some of the cities. I don't know if I can find any right now. Um, I'm the rightful ruler of Kings, Seven Kingdoms and King's Landing. What? I'm the rightful ruler of the Seven Kingdoms and King's Landing as an integral part of that title. It should be mine. Are we, though? <laughs> We're not. Well, I don't know why you think that, you madman. Um... We claim on the Seven Kingdoms of the Iron Throne. Boy, he's just decided he wants to own the Iron Throne. Why has he got the ability to get that? Do House Durandon have that ability? They didn't have the Seven Kingdoms at all. They had basically everything from where we are now up to... Well, they had they had the Stormlands, the Kingslands, parts of the Riverlands, and then up towards the Vale. Um, I don't think they actually had the Vale. And then when Harren, uh, Harren Hoare and, and obviously the, the Iron Islanders took... They actually took a lot of the land, and that's when Argalak, the, the final Durandan, died. Is after they'd lost a lot of their land to... Uh, they'd lost the Riverlands in particular, and Harrenhal and places like that to Harrenhal. Very weird. 
To come to my justicia Renly, the small folk of Hadlow Keep have started a delightful tradition. Can't afford it. Sorry, we've got to employ more courtiers and a priest as well at some stage too. That's weird. Yeah, so like I was saying, uh, he's a really big fan of HP Lovecraft. So over here, there's like a city called Carcosa. I don't think we can even see it. Kadath. Prime example right there. We've got Kadath. See, he's a boneless man. I was actually watching an interview where he said all of this he had to just make up off the top of his head like in an afternoon because they wanted to fill out parts of the map because it was apparently blank. They are doing like a Game of Thrones map book or something. Anyway, uh, there's a theory that Stormguard is related to that HP Lovecraft aspect of things. So that's what's linked together every other series. So I think it's appropriate. Perhaps it's time to... Uh, plus, also, Dark Magic sounds pretty awesome. Karth, Ravaged by the Plague. I forgot about that. It's not going to get to Westeros though, is it? Oh shit, it might. Oh man. Um, finally, talking private. All the way from a shy up to Bravos there. It's stuck at the Stepstones. I don't think it can make its way across the Stepstones. Bear in mind these are pirate fleets. So they're not really inhabited. They're just like places for the pirates to stop off. And they're just sort of pirate dens. I don't know whether it can cross the Stepstones. If it does, then we'll cry. But we'll worry about that later on. It also could obviously just cross via the regular sea route. So go from like uh, Nontalas or other oh, Pentostry area to Tarth or something like that. Yeah, we'll keep a very close eye on that. My son Boris is always... Ooh, Zealous would be good. Um... Excellent. He actually could have come out better than I thought. I probably should have educated them in hindsight. Proving relations. Okay, so we're keeping the rounds together. Like I said, that was going to be the main focus of this, was uh, making sure everybody was on board with our rule, and they actually seem to be. We seem to be doing okay. So let's actually double check on the uh, vassals map here, or the, the vassals list. Um, we're doing fine. That's actually fairly impressive, I think. So the high lords, we've got one, two, three high lords there. Four high lords, all in positive opinion. And then the only one that doesn't like is his Lord Michael of Tarth. So why don't we head over and try and sway him, bring him on board. He's a tyrant, so I don't really care about his spending too much. Oh god, he's actually better than I thought. Um, tyrants can become intelligent or guarantee patient. He got diligent. Oh shit, he's actually going to come out pretty well, huh? That was a wasted opportunity. You're a good backup here, I apologize. I should have educated him with, uh, with the, um, the high learning ability, spending the 70 gold or whatever it was. Anyway, let's go for a Lord Treasure. Please be good. He's okay. You know what? He's good enough. Actually, 15 steward. He's actually the best one we've got so far. Right. Grant land title. Let's give him the high lordship of Summerfield. That's going to deal with some of our other traitorous vassals a little bit. What's Thornton? Oh, God. That's part of Summerfield. They're going to probably war over that. Um, yeah. No, that's very, very good. And let's also do the same thing. So let's arrange marriage between you and um, Aya. She'll do. She's a random Stormlander woman, but she'll do. Uh, just making sure they're married is the important thing. I grant talent titles to whoever I want. So our brother's going to be annoyed, but we can't do anything about it. All we've got is Black Bog now, which is a castle and a separate, you know, realm entirely. So if we grant that to him, it, he will stay our vassal. But, you know, it, it's he, I don't think he'll ask for it. He wants an actual landed title, and that's just a keep in the middle of, of Rainwood, essentially. A, a disputed keep, apparently. Right, so that's dealt with uh, some other vassals as well, because obviously we've shuffled vassals under other vassals that like us a lot there. That's looking pretty goddamn good. Rainwood and Tarth, the only ones to win over right now, and that shouldn't be too difficult. We could actually just send him a gift, and that's basically solved that problem. In fact, we could send them both gifts, and that solved essentially both of those problems. What else have we got then? So we've got uh, Sir of Doran's Point. Well, that's... Yeah, these are all our vassals in Storm's End there. So Doran's Point, Storm's Drum, and Stag's Den. Griffin's Roost, what should you be under? So this is going to be... Oh, there's an actual duchy level title here, huh? If we could revoke one of those... And uh, if we could revoke one of those and obviously... Or find a way to inherit one of those, let's phrase it that way... Has Connington, 15 living members. Uh, Wagstaff has 13 living members. Crow's Nest has... Uh, let's take a look here, sorry. Um, 13 living members. They're all agnatic cognatic. What if we get a claim on them? Could we go to... <laughs> I mean, we can't revoke titles because we need a valid claim. Um, or we need a valid reason that the Crown Authority isn't high enough. So short of the Iron Throne moving that up. There's no point even trying to scheme because we just can't do it. Um, what, what, we've got any sort of plots to revoke titles? Um, probably get evidence of treason is fine, but we, again, we can't actually revoke the titles. Even if we succeed with the plot, even if we get them to, uh, kick off. Wow, you're interesting. Priest, what are you wearing? Is that just his head, do you think? Why did the Storm God make us curious? I'll keep it hidden. Thank you, Yvante. You're truly a warlock then. We are becoming a wizard. Now, there is magic back in the world. So, so, one of the features of the Game of Thrones world is magic can go and, go from the world and rejoin the world. So, generally, it leaves the world... Um, when the last dragon dies, to my knowledge, and then it returns when Daenerys hatches her dragons, as long as there's three dragons alive in the world, at any point, the magic comes back. Now, to my knowledge, the magic is back right now. Uh, the best way to tell, actually, my brother Splash would remind me, oh, for fuck's sake, he actually does want Black Bog. Um, or we give it to Heavy. We give it to Heavy, Durandon, who 
won't name me a tyrant. I'm actually kind of annoyed at this guy. No, she she should rightfully rule it. Just give it to her. Piss him off. He doesn't deserve it. He hates us anyway. A raven has arrived and sits out. Winter is coming. Yeah, so let's go and check whether or not magic is around. Because that would be good to know. Because I assume that affects the cult of the Star of Wisdom's magical abilities. Easiest way to check. Go to Karth. Find someone with a black candle. Uh, or an obsidian candle. I forget what they called it. Get out of here, console. Um, what if I'm there? That is the city of Karth. I'm going to type in obsidian candle. See if I can find it. Uh, just type in candle. Reset all. Um, okay, there we go. And let's go to you. Let's check your treasury. Glass candle. Uh, so... Power of magic is not fed. It is crossed out. Okay, so there is no magic right now. But if we manage to hatch two more dragons, I thought that might be the case because Daenerys didn't actually hatch her dragons, did she? Um, so if we can hatch two more dragons somehow, we could potentially get the magic to return, and that would make us a more powerful warlock and give us access to our storm god magic. What we could do is give her a dragon egg, um, as you guys suggested. She is Valyrian, which gives a plus 400% dragon taming chance, a dragon hatching chance. She's also a saucy Valyrian, which gives another 100% to dragon hatching chance. If anybody's going to do it, it's her. The lies that meant to hold us back. So there we go. We've dealt with that one. We've got stability in the realm. We've had a nice funeral. This has been a very good episode, I think, for the, the Stormlands. Definitely building things up and uh, making thing, making sure things are going well. What's well, going to be, uh, obviously, a, a little bit of a less involved episode because we have to deal with all the succession issues and that type of thing. I trust a word. I think we're good. If it comes out genius, I don't really care even if it's not our kid as long as it's legally recognized as ours. Um... Dale, I'm going to put you on the council because it doesn't really matter too much right now. I'm trying to get people to like me more than anything else. Obviously, the Ram Castellan is fairly pointless. Finally, we've joined the Legion of the True Lord, the Cult of Starry Wisdom. You're the messenger. What do you need me to do? I think this is just the generic Satanist society one, isn't it? It is. Okay. She should rest. Excellent. I wish you had found me sooner. We're in. Is this just the generic de Devil Worshipper Society? Absorb Life Force? Yeah, it is. But that actually might not be too bad. Invite Disciple of Nyarlathotep. So this is absolutely more Lovecraftian stuff. That's is entirely what it is. Um, some familiar tent touch. It's been a while since I've played the Devil Worshipper Society. I don't know if there's anything unique about it in the Game of Thrones one. Judging by the way they've reskinned the Hermetic Society into the Citadel, I think this they, they must have adjusted certain things, right? Because it wouldn't just make sense to stick Devil Worshippers in this. But, hey, we'll take a look. My lord, I politely remind you of the gold that we owe you. Oh, God. We need to deal with this. We need to deal with these lines. Again, that's what this episode was about, was, was getting the Stormlands up on its feet. Let's finally then employ our last courtier. When can we do that? Um, oh, tomorrow. She's learning a lot too, and we are good. Employ a new priest, Mark. Welcome, Mark the Priest. He's terrible. He's got 10 learning. Well, it's better than nothing. Proselytize. So to summarize, we've got two new Stormlord vassals. We've got a new wife. Hopefully, we're going to get some better kids out of that. We tamed a dragon. We've joined a warlock society. We've kept that Valyrian cadet house of House Duran and that alive. I think we achieved more in this episode than we've done in the past like three combined, huh? I think it's been pretty good. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have liked this one. I've, I've, I've tried to uh, see what people in the comments are suggesting and uh, try to implement that here. So hopefully you guys are pretty happy with some of the changes. And I do like the idea of keeping House Valane, Valani, whatever the hell they're called, alive as well. I think that'd be fairly fun. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons who made this series possible in the first place. Thank you to Justin Wallace, Sarik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Koto, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Sudini, Conspire T, Crazy Pack, Krosis, Escape, Fukunda Vasquez, Hey Dog, Jimbo, Josh Lendine, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Necrofilm, Pavis Presley, Sean Thornton, Smurt One, Tom Terry 18, Vacuous Backers, Wolfson, and Zazzy 7011. Thank you all for supporting the CNT Loves on Patreon. New Patreon list should be available, uh, well, apparently now, because it's just gone past midnight, but I assume it's American time, so. Probably by tomorrow's videos, they should have finished off that list. They're at like 99% processed, as they always are. So uh, I will double-check that again tomorrow, and we'll uh, we'll deal with that. Thank you as well to Gray, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Luan and Thomas, Asro, Betamus Max, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don't Conner 2 and 7, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK Run, Genji Zerka, Haji Dumar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, I See the Great, Jay Lyra, James Barnes, Yuron DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Nathan Flores, Matthew, Nick, Panther Pearl, People of the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Seth of the Swede, Shari, Wolfie, Zico, Adam Person, Sidini, Fredrick Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle. Thank you all for your support.